This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 988, How to Budget for Christmas Gifts, by Kamiko of thebudgetmom.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host, and here each and every day reading to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And today I've got a new author and website for you. The site is thebudgetmom.com and Kumiko has a bunch of helpful articles on her site. She is an accredited financial counselor as well as being a mom to a rambunctious boy. So come by her site for a bunch of free resources. And with that, let's hear our first post from her as we start optimizing your life. How to Budget for Christmas Gifts by Kumiko of thebudgetmom.com Christmas is supposed to be a joyful time of year spent with the ones you love, but for a lot of people, Christmas is filled with pressure, debt, and questionable financial decisions. I know what it's like to fall into that second category. Before I started budgeting, I tried to wing it when it came to Christmas presents and extra holiday spending. I had no plan, didn't save money in advance, and I ended every year deeper in debt with a sick feeling in my stomach. But that's not the end of my story, and it doesn't have to be yours. As I began to take control of my finances through budgeting, I found that I could still shower family and friends with a little extra joy at Christmas. The difference was this. I didn't have to charge those Christmas gifts on my credit cards. I didn't have to take on debt with no real plan for how to repay it. I didn't need to end the holiday season feeling frustrated and overwhelmed. I'm going to share some of my favorite tips to help you plan for a debt-free Christmas this year, including how to make a Christmas gift budget with free printables, how to Christmas shop on a budget, and ideas to use when you can't afford Christmas presents. How to make a Christmas gift budget. The first step to planning for a debt-free Christmas is to, well, have a plan. A Christmas budget helps you avoid overspending and credit card debt. After I started my budgeting journey, my goal was to have enough cash on hand at Christmas so I wouldn't be tempted to fall into old patterns. Save as early as possible. Rocking your Christmas gift budget starts early. You want to tuck away enough cash to cover those extra holiday expenses without turning to your credit cards. It's best to begin this process as early in the year as possible. The amount you save will be the foundation for the Christmas budget you're going to create. So let's say you start in January and tuck away $75 per month out of your paychecks. By November, you would have saved $825 for your Christmas budget. If you haven't started saving yet, don't panic, there's still time. Maybe you can afford to save $150 each month in October and November. While a $300 Christmas budget might be tighter than you're used to, it's still enough to do something special for your loved ones. And that's really the point, not how much you spend. Write it down. Once you've created your Christmas shopping fund, however big or small it may be, you'll know how much you can afford to spend on extra holiday expenses. This is the figure you should write at the top of your Christmas planning worksheets for your total budget amount. On your worksheets, fill in the different areas where you expect to spend money this Christmas. Keep in mind, extra holiday expenses can include more than just gifts. You may also need to prepare your budget for holiday meals and treats, Christmas cards, printing and postage, gift wrapping supplies, holiday travel, Christmas decor, and charitable donations. Finally, you can fill out your Christmas gift budget worksheet. Take your starting budget, subtract any planned expenses from the spending categories you just heard, and see how much money you have left for gifts. After you write down the names of people you want to purchase a gift for this Christmas, you can divvy up your remaining budget to figure out how much you can afford to spend per person. To make this process easier, some people assign a percentage of their gift budget to each person on their list. It might look something like this. Child, 25%. Partner, 25%. Parents, 30%. 15% each. Friends, 20%. 5% each. If you followed this example, with $400 left in your budget for gift giving, you could spend up to these amounts. Child, $100. Partner, also $100. Parents, $120, 60 each. And friends, $80, 20 each. You can also use some of the following tips to stretch your gift budget. This might help you spend less than you planned on gifts and add extra padding to your Christmas budget for unexpected expenses. They always happen. How to Christmas Shop on a Budget Here are five easy tips to help you Christmas shop on a budget. 1. Leave your credit card at home and shop with cash. 2. Don't give in to the temptation to buy for yourself. 3. Stick to your shopping list. 4. Search for coupons and discounts in advance. 5. Use Honey to find deals when shopping online. 6. 
Use apps like Ibotta, Ebates, Rakuten, Top Cashback, Shopkick, and Mr. Rebates to earn cash back every time you shop online. You can also check out my story on how to lower your child's Christmas present expectations. Ideas when you can't afford Christmas presents. Sometimes there simply isn't enough extra money in your budget to afford Christmas presents. Still, the last thing you want to do is add more debt to your credit cards. That will only stress your budget and set you up for bigger financial problems down the road. So here are a few ideas that may help if you can't afford Christmas presents. One, consider a side hustle. I have a post with 20 plus ways you can make extra money. Two, cut spending. Take an honest look at your spending. Maybe you could give up cable, eat out less, reduce your grocery budget, or find other ways to free up extra cash and save more money. Three, cash in credit card rewards. If you have rewards credit cards, check to see if you've earned enough points to cash in for products or gift cards you can give as gifts. Four, make DIY gifts. Pinterest is full of ideas on how to make meaningful, inexpensive Christmas gifts. You can bake cookies, make handmade ornaments, and Christmas decor on a budget, and find dozens of different ways to show your love without going into debt. That's the last thing a true friend would want for you anyway. And five, give your time. Christmas gifts don't have to be objects. You can give your time to the people you love. Consider making gift certificates for a night of free childcare, pet sitting, or anything that might appeal to your loved one. A future game night at your place with homemade treats can be a hit with younger family members. You could even volunteer at a charity in your loved one's honor and let them know. If you opt to give homemade gifts or gift certificates, you can also spend a little extra time on the wrapping and presentation for an added touch of Christmas cheer. Check out the Dollar Tree for great values on supplies that you can use to create memorable Christmas gifts on a budget. You just listened to the post titled How to Budget for Christmas Gifts by Kamiko of TheBudgetMom.com. And thanks so much to Kamiko for giving us permission to read her articles here. Definitely swing by her site to show your support. There's a lot of great info there and a bunch more articles and free resources. And of course, I'll bring you more posts from her site in the near future. So that's a wrap for another edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.